Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. So right now Arnie's taking the manure away from in front of the feeder. He thinks that will stop that ewe from going over the feeder or going through it. We aren't sure what she's doing, although we did see her go through it once. I don't know if it'll help or not, but it's worth a try because um, right now we can't put extra bars in. So, Ben, come here. Monkey smelly job in the heat. Much better when it's cool. Here helping them, helping me hold them back. Yeah, Cammy, don't come over here. Cammy, come on, get out. Get out, Cammy, go on. Come on. Here. Katie, Max, come on. doing a really good job helping to block the sheep today and you probably notice that Ben and Max are much calmer these days. They're listening better and they're paying attention to the work they're doing and uh, not getting quite so excited as they used to. sure that the sheep stay in this pen because behind me the gates open to the outdoors and we just don't want them running off. Ben, get out now. Come on, Ben, Max. Max, come on. Ben, come on. Of course, Gladiator is feeling like we're cutting into his time, I think. So he's, he's decided that he's just going to get on with business checking the ewes out and pretend like we're not here or maybe catch the ewes at a weak moment while they're occupied with watching the skid steer. Okay so you can see that we've made it about eight inches deeper in here now so technically nobody should get out on knockout side over there we still have the one green dot girl, but last night Arnie found another sheep in the feeder from this side, but it came back to this side, so it never went in the other pen. But that's why he figured he better try something to see if uh, maybe lowering the bedding pack would 
stop them from going in. We might just leave that other green dot in there since she is the one that's showing people what to do, showing other sheep what to do. And maybe that way with this and her staying there, maybe this will be the end of sheep jumping over. Now we have two greens in this pen, so we're trying to sort them out and put them back with Vlad. There's the one. We have their tag numbers written down, so at least we know who they are. Reds went back. Green is here. But there's one other one. Back again. So we figure that since we cut those extra bars out so that Vlad could fit his head in the feeder, that these smaller first time ewes have figured out how to crawl through the feeder. And once they're in the feeder, they can jump either way they want. Get out, go on. And because they're sheep, if one does it, others are going to copy. So we really had to nip this in the bud. I can run back there. Oh. Last of the red ones back. Now, next time we come in the barn, we'll see if any greens got back out. Next job in here is to get them some hay. The sheep in this barn are so quiet compared to the lamb barn. You're the clever one. You're waiting on your own in your own spot instead of fighting with the others for a spot. You know it'll come because you're an older girl.
on the other side maybe. Is there space on that side? There we go. Now we just need some straw on this side. Right now Arnie's just going to get some bedding for their pen. So we may as well watch Gladiator and his girls eating for a little while. And Cammy. And the bedding's here already. Didn't think it would be that quick. Girls, am I in your way? So he's going to put straw out, but not along this manger area. They'll walk some of the straw into the spot he cleaned out, but we don't want it packing up already. Get out of there. You're going to have to move, I think, Glad. Get out, you guys. Well, all these are the tame ones. What? They're all the tame ones that aren't too motivated. So we're gonna just drop the leftover bale over onto knockout side so they can have some clean bedding too. Okay, so this bale is gonna get rolled out, and that'll be it for this barn. Hopefully. Problem solved. Only time will tell. And what happened to you girls? Oh my goodness. But you see, we, we put green dots on the grades. Except for Sheila. Sheila got a red dot because she's one of our pets. And Cupcake, you got a red dot too. And you're lucky. You didn't have to go through this ordeal of getting a tattoo. Hi, girl. Hi, you look pretty. So I'm guessing we're going to put what's left of this group after some have gone to their new homes. I'm thinking I would like to use Cash. I think Arnie's leaning towards Klondike. So 
well, we'll see who wins out on that one. I prefer Cash because he's longer and smoother. Arnie likes Klondike because he's heavier, but he's got a bit of a dip on his back that I don't like. And he looks just like his dad, so we're using his dad. So I'm definitely leaning towards Cash. And I gotta find Pinky in here too. Pinky's the other one that I wanna keep. So that will be 17, 18, 19, 20 that we're keeping for sure. Now we've got visitors coming to get a ram. Got a ram. And we're just in the process of catching them and getting them loaded into the trailer. And these are repeat customers as well. <laughs> Katie, don't bite at them. That's okay, buddy. We also have a future sheep farmer here. Are you a future sheep farmer? Are you a future sheep farmer? Yeah, I think so. Hi. Well, me and Ben have come down to the alfalfa field. Arnie's cutting hay. Come on, Ben, away from the road. Come here. Ben, come here. Well, you can... Uh, Feel the moisture coming off of this hay. Uh, it feels hot. I can feel the heat coming up from the ground. But we got supposedly a two day window here. So we're hoping to get some nice hay in. This is our third cut that we were looking at the other day with you. You would think he would stop and come say hello, but it doesn't look like it. I guess we gotta go for a walk, Ben. Come on, then. Ben is the dog of privilege today. He actually hopped in the car this time. Come on, Benny. Out of the ditch. Come over here. Because it's a fairly big field and our windows are very small, we've got people coming over to look at sheep tomorrow. So he's only going to cut half a field just to make sure he can get it all done in time. So you can see by Ben how tall that alfalfa is. Good posing, Ben. You show off the alfalfa nicely. Good boy. 
You are a pleaser. Stop this time. Watch us. Watch us. Right now. Right. Right now. Watch. Right now. again. So from me and Ben, we're going to call that a day and we're going to hope that you join us again tomorrow. Right, Ben? Hey, for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.